Let's talk about basic subtraction, multiplication, and division within an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, here on the screen I've got a couple of numbers and I'm going to show you how to subtract 100 from 230 manually by inputting an equation. As you should know by now, to start an equation or a function, you need to start out by entering the equal symbol. Now since I want to subtract the value in column E, row 5, from the value in column E, row 4, I simply, after my equal symbol, type in E, 4, followed by a dash. Notice how the cell name that I selected gives that cell a border around it. So you clearly see and can ensure that you're choosing the right cell. I'm putting in the dash for my minus sign and then I'm going to say E5. I'm going to hit enter. And surely that's a result of subtracting 100 from 230. To review and verify the formula, click on the cell that contains the result, take a look up in the formula bar, and see that it simply says it's subtracting the value in E5 from what's in E4. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now say I want to subtract horizontally. I'm going to put a number 200 immediately to the right of the value 230. And say I want the result of the subtraction to appear in column G. I'm going to start out with the equal symbol. I'm going to say E4, which is the 230, minus, which is the dash, F4, which is the 200. Enter and there is 30. That clearly is correct. Uh, here's a real easy way to do this. Let me subtract it downward. I type in the equal symbol. I can then click on the cell that contains the value. And I click there. Notice how in the formula bar it picks up the cell name that I've clicked in, E4. I type in the dash for minus. I type in the cell I'd like to subtract. I hit enter and there's my result again. That's an easy way to do it. As far as multiplication and division, it's quite similar. Say I'd like to multiply these two values and have the result appear immediately below. Start out with the equal symbol. I can type E4. Then you need to use the asterisk symbol, which is on the 8 key. Shift 8, E4 times E5. Enter. And 230 times 100 is 23,000. You have to do it uh, more easily by using the mouse and clicking the cells. Equals. I click on the first, the cell containing the first value. Type in my asterisk. Type, click or uh, select the cell containing the second value. It picks up the cell name, E5. Enter. And there's my result again. If I want my result, to appear somewhere else on the screen, I just simply click where I want the result to go. Equals, click on the first cell, a subtraction or an asterisk, click on the second cell, enter, and there's my result. You click on the cell containing the result and verify it, cross-reference it in your formula bar. Alright, division. For division we use the forward slash. So I'm going to say right here I want to divide 100 into 230. So I'm going to say equals. I can bring over the cell name E4 and then I put the forward slash which is on the same key as the question mark and then I'm going to type in E5. I want to divide the contents of cell E5 which is 100 into the value in E4 which is 230. I hit enter and it's 2.3. And to do the same thing by clicking the mouse on the cells instead of typing in the cell name equals I click on E3 or that's E4 actually put the forward slash in I click on E5 enter and there's my result always make sure you check your formula by looking in the formula bar we're going to go into more advanced ways of using formulas a little bit later on